today I'm gonna be showing you guys the way I grew my eyebrows. I do this on like a weekly or maybe like a week and a half basis because I do have really bushy eyebrows and if I let them grow out, um, you know, they just get really, really like bushy, like a local on this. So I really have to keep up with them and if you guys have the same problem and you guys don't want to be paying five, six bucks every week to go see the threading lady or if it hurts or if you just don't feel like going, then you can always do this at home. I hope you guys can learn something from this and yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so I am going to begin now with showing you guys the products that I <clears throat> use to groom my eyebrows. Um, so. First off, I hope that I'm zoomed in enough. I'm going to try to zoom it in a little bit more after I do this. But um, So basically, the things that I use um, are my scissors. These scissors are especially for my eyebrows. Like I keep them in my makeup bag because sometimes, you know, you, you need the extra house. Sometimes, I, usually I have my nails. Right now, I don't have my nails. You guys will find out why soon, but I just took them off because, because, because. So, um... Yeah, the three things that I mainly use is, if you don't have one of these, like the actual Brow Wiz, um, you can always, I think at Sephora, you can get them for free, the little spoolies. Of course, don't go over there and steal like 20. If you can, just like get one. But if you don't want to, then you can always buy the spoolies um, at like any beauty supply. I think for sure Sally's has them. They're like two bucks for like a pack of like five. Um, you can pick those up and it's better, you know, it's like easier I would feel embarrassed going into Sephora um, and just getting them but I know for sure they have them at Sally's and you can buy them even if you save one just for your eyebrows you can use it up to like two months you can always like go in with alcohol and disinfect it and then it'll be good again you know so that's what I like to do I like to use um, my tweezers so these tweezers guys is it focusing so these tweezers are kept in my makeup bag also. So all these things are kept in my makeup bag. That's why they look a little bit dusty, a little bit dirty. But, um, so these uh, tweezers, damn, I just realized how much I miss filming. Like sitting down and making a video. Okay, off topic. So these tweezers, uh, I also keep in my makeup bag. I've been having this. I've been having them for a while. I think I got them at the indoor swap meet. I'm not really sure, but... I know for sure they do sell them there so you can get them at the indoor swap meet and these were a dollar and they work so good um they also have some con una muñequita they have uh i'll try to insert a picture hopefully i can find one on the internet um those were my favorite but i lost them so then i found these they're like similar to those yeah i totally recommend for you guys to either get these or the ones with the little señora because i've tried buying some from like cvs and they're just like they're not even that sh like sharp or something. They just don't get that many hairs off. So they don't work that good. So uh, yeah, I like to use these. And okay guys, oh my God, I'm really, really close to the camera. I'm, I'm sorry. They, I'm sorry that you guys have to see me like this. But so basically here I have my washed face. Uh, a tip that I recommend for you guys. Um, I don't know about if you guys follow the same a routine as I do but what I like to do is wash my face and then I apply toner and then I apply my face cream and basically when I know that I'm gonna groom my eyebrows I don't like to apply my face cream because it leaves some like type of shit on my face obviously I put cream right but it just leaves it feeling really really weird and it makes my eyebrows sticky so yeah I don't like to do that so when I know that I'm, I'm gonna be grooming my eyebrows I don't apply any face cream until after um, so let me begin and by the way I'm also gonna be using this mirror I've been having this for like a long time and it's a mirror it's just like the 5x and then the regular um, the regular whatever zoom this helps a lot I do recommend for you guys to invest in one of these growing up I would always see my tias like my mom everybody freaking having one of these and I never found a point of it like I was like I could do that with a regular mirror but then when I got older I was like okay yeah these come through so yeah um definitely I recommend for you guys to invest in one of these I think this one was like five bucks at Target I found it like on clearance like you guys can find so much shit on clearance at Target I'm gonna do like a Target clearance haul because I always find shit on. Oh my god, my alarm. Oh my god, you guys. My heart just dropped. 
I got so scared because my alarm went off and when the alarm goes off it's because some someone opened the window or a door and like they the house feels like a motion that it's not supposed to and it's like weird so oh my god I'm still like my heart's beating so fast I went over there to the living room to check like what was going on you know because that's where the alarm thing is they're gonna call they're calling the cops are calling so basically um Nathan was looking for me and he opened the door like to see if I left or something and when I ran over there like I couldn't find him because he was crying like in our room he wasn't in the living room anymore but he left the door open so you guys the first thing I thought was someone went in the house and freaking took him and left and oh my God. That feeling is so ugly. So then, um, I'm just going to be starting off with my eyebrows. Sorry again for the interruptions, but, you know, first things first. But what I like to start off with is the front of them. Because look at how hairy, but I send the loco Valdez, you guys. Literally, if you guys know my, my grandpa, you guys know that his eyebrows are like this. Like a loco Valdez. So yeah, that's where I get it from. Um, so yeah, what I like to do... Because I stand them up and then I cut kind of in a slanted Just watch me. And then I like to cut like whatever hairs are long. You want to cut little by little because not the kid the skillets. And then you do the same thing to the other eyebrow. The this one seems like I don't know why. And then I just kind of fix them, I play with them a little bit. It's always better to cut little by little than to just cut like bam, de una, because then you're gonna regret it. And then I do the same thing to this eyebrow. And then I start plucking away, um, which by the way, this is like, can you guys see? how hairy my eyebrows are super hairy like imagine going to work because I don't wear makeup so just imagine going to work like this you guys embarrassing as fuck Oh, and by the way, guys, um, to get my shape, so basically I go to the threading lady um, about um, every three months. Once every three months, I go, and she'll just, like, thread my eyebrows. I'll let, them, I'll let them grow out, and then I'll just let her do my shape because sometimes they obviously lose shape. And then I'll just do this all the time after that. And then when they lose shape, I go back, and then that's what I like to do. I don't go all the time, so... Because I don't have time for that, you guys. I am, like, super busy all the time. So, I don't I don't have time to go and get my eyebrows threaded. And I know it doesn't take that long, but it takes me, like, I would rather do something else than to go get my eyebrows threaded. So, um, this is why I like to do this at home. Not only that, but this relaxes me. Like, whenever I'm home and then I just have nothing to do and then I just sit down, plug my eyebrows. Like, it's kind of relaxing, you know? Also, um, I know there's some little like shavers some little shaving shaver things 
I don't recommend recommend for you guys to use those. Those are horrible, guys. Those are whack. Um, my eyebrows weren't growing now. Like they were, they, I was all trasquilada for my eyebrows, and I was like, "What the fuck? How come? You know?" Like I've always been a very hairy person. Like with my eyebrows, I've always had like very hairy eyebrows. So. I was like, what the hell's wrong with my eyebrows? They're not growing out. And it was because I was using that shit too often. So don't be lazy. Just pluck your eyebrows, guys. It's better. Um, someone had told me that supposedly if you use the shavers that it's better because though your hairs will actually grow back. Like you're not arrancando la, la raiz. Like how here you're like basically... Um, pulling it from the root but to be honest I noticed that that shit was like no my eyebrows were not growing with a little shaver that was it they got all curly <laughs> But see what a fucking difference. Like, look at this hairy thing. Look at how hairy you guys. And look at this. I remember when that guy, he's Mexican, I think, too. And I think he said that Las Mexicanas son bien hairy. And everyone got all offended. <laughs> well, I mean, we are. It's true. I mean, look at Frida Kahlo. She was hairy as fuck. Maybe Frida was related to my grandpa. There are some also that are like enterrados. I don't know if you guys can see like around here. They're like enterrados. So those are up to you if you are down to... um like desenterrarlos sometimes if i know that i can get it out i'll just like cut through my skin a little bit and then i'll get it out but to be honest it leaves a, um scars because you're cutting your skin to get that little hair out so i would kind of advise you guys to wait a little bit you can't really tell but if it bugs you that much i mean if you don't care about cutting yourself then just do it but um sometimes i do it uh, sometimes I'm like, nah, I don't feel like it. And just because it bugs me sometimes that it's there, I can see the hair through the skin. But it just needs like two more days for it to come out. Um, if you're impatient, then I guess you can do it. But like I said, I'm warning you, it's going to cut you. It's, it's going to look ugly. So, okay, you guys, and that's it. That's the way I grew my eyebrows. I hope you guys learned something from this. I mean, it's all the basics that I know this is the way I grew my eyebrows like I said I do go to a threading lady once every three months just so I can get my shape back but for the most part this is what I do with my eyebrows um always try to like just work around them try to don't ever pluck like your actual eyebrow your eyebrows are never gonna be perfect so don't ever try to make them like super perfect because you're gonna be a little bit disappointed um, even if you go to, to like a threading lady, a wax lady, they're never going to be super perfect. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and sorry about all the interruptions. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this video with all of your friends, with your mom, maybe she doesn't know how to groom her eyebrows, with your brother. Maybe like, this is for men too. I mean, if you guys want to use this, if you're embarrassed, like if you're a guy, you're embarrassed to go to like a threading lady, um, which I've seen a lot of guys, there's no reason to be embarrassed. But maybe you are, maybe you're just a little bit shy. You can always use this for yourself too. And yeah, it's very, very easy, you guys. Talk to you guys next time. Bye. Uno de nosotros es de barrio fino, un tipo muy real. Nos jugó una apuesta que ni te miremos que te va a robar El otro es medio loco